What up YouTube, this is Steven and welcome back to another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the covers of Kotokumi's compilation album, Winter of Love. Let's begin with the CD only version of the album cover. Alright, so when I first looked at the album covers, I was kind of confused a little bit because of the coloration and the title. Because for me, um, Winter of Love makes me think of different colors than, you know, a soft orange brownish color. To me, this is more representative of maybe like um, summer. It's more of a warm color for me. So, you know, really these, these album covers could probably have been used for the Summer of Love album, you know, minus the outfit that she's wearing. I guess that outfit doesn't look very summery. Um, but let me get back on topic here. Um, all right, so we have Kotokumi, and her pose in this photo is really interesting. It really is um, artistic, in my opinion. You know, your eyes are going here, here, there, here, there. Like, you know, seeing what's going on in this photo. And as well, uh, Kotokumi's hair is kind of like she... It looks like she kind of flipped it. And the camera caught her hair in mid-motion. So I'm like, okay. Um, here, I don't think Kotokumi's face was captured as nicely as it could have been. Well, perhaps it was. But, um, yeah, Kotokumi's face here, um, it could look better, you know. You know, I like that Kotokumi is giving us a good amount of neck in this photo, you know. I'm glad she didn't lose her neck in this photo. And I noticed that she has a mole on her neck as well. I wonder was that put in by her as like a beauty mark or is that actually just there? Um, you know, that's, you know, an actual real mole on her neck. Um, the outfit that she's wearing is a bit confusing for me. It looks nice, but it's like it's winter, but it's not because the outfit is so short. Um, she's wearing like a coat, but it's like short. So the coat makes me think of winter, but the shortness of the outfit makes me think of summer. So it's like I'm getting conflicted views here, you know. Um, her hair looks um, fresher this time around than it did on the Summer of Love album cover covers. I'm like, woo wee, you need some moisturization, Kotokumi. But this time her hair her hair looks moist here. You know, it looks like it has some moisture in it. So good for you, Kotokumi, for finding moisturization. <clears throat> um let's see. You know, the coloration isn't bad as I mentioned, but it just for me, throws everything off because to me, this coloration does not represent winter. Really, I would have probably expected more of like a bluish type of look, or a bluish coloration. But this is what we have, you guys. This is what we got. So yeah, um, I do like, like I said, the body position is really interesting here. You know, this is like really an artistic body positioning and it's really you know kind of like editorial you know very um avant-garde and edgy this body positioning here for me the face is kind of the kind of like the face is kind of bringing down the quality of the photo for me more so but overall an interesting photo let's move on to the next photo you know the next album cover this is the album cover for the CD Plus DVD edition as well as the CD Plus Blu-ray edition. I like Kotokumi's face in this on this album cover here. And I think she has found the light really well. And I like the way her hair looks too. You know, it looks really, you know, glamorous. And, you know, she's giving us good eyes, too. Like, look at her eyes in the photo. Like, 
Wow. Um, one issue that I see is her neck. It looks really thick. I don't know if they just caught it at a bad angle or either they photoshopped it in a weird way. But yeah, if they should have photoshopped her neck and made it a little thinner. Um, here, her neck's coming off really thick. I think maybe the angle that they shot it in or shot it at, it kind of looked like this. Um, but, you know, okay, you know, Koto's giving us some shoulder here, you know, some back and shoulder here. All right, Koto Kumi. All right. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what winter you are in, um, but, you know, good for you, Coco. Good for you. Um, her, the position of her arms is really interesting. Um, it's It has some strength with it, but it also has some softness with it as well. And I like that combination. And, you know, the overall pose here is interesting as well. Um, you know, I like the pose. You know, it's... It's... Hmm. It's nice. But I feel like something's missing. I don't know what. I don't know why. I feel like something's missing when it comes to the pose. Because for me, the face is on point. You know, the hair is on point, uh, but the pose overall, I don't know, something, I don't know, I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like something was missing, maybe, and I'm not sure what is missing, and that's why I feel a little bad for saying that something's missing, but I can't say what, because I don't know. You know, but overall, I think it's a really nice photo, you know. This is more so um, kind of like a more of a fashion-y type of photo. But it also has some like, you know, editorial feel with it as well. Um, because of the pose that Kotokumi is doing, it kind of gives it more of an editorial feel with it. Alright, let's move on to the final photo, the final album cover. Now this album cover is the album cover for the CD plus DVD fan club edition of the album. And here, I'm like, okay, Kotokumi, she is given a sex appeal here. Definitely. Not that she wasn't before, but here, I'm like, she definitely coming with it. Um, I like the face, although I feel like um, it could have been a little, had a little bit more of a special quality with it, but overall, nice face. Um, she has found the light really well. She's giving us good eyes here. Um, it looks like she has lost her neck a little bit, but it works for this photo. Sometimes the no-neck look can actually work. This is one of those times. Um, so, you know, kudos to Kotokumi. She is not a no-neck monster up in here. You know, just ruining the photo. So good. <clears throat> And I like the way that she has positioned, positioned her arm that's um, holding her hair and the arm that is um, around her uh, torso. And also, it, you know, because of the way that the coat, you know, the fabric of the, of the coat and the, the design of the coat, it kind of looks like Kotokumi is giving us, like, you know, certified booty tube cheer. Which, I don't think she is. Like, she is in this photo, but I don't think she actually has, you know, enough to actually give us, you know, an authentic booty tube. But, you know, um, perhaps she does, you know, perhaps she does. And I just have missed it. Uh, but last time I checked, I didn't see any, um, you know, not enough to make it certified. But perhaps she has gotten, you know... She has acquired some booty somehow. <clears throat> or maybe it's the fabric of the coat and the design of the coat. Either way, we got it up in this photo. So, checkpoint for you, Kotokumi, there. I think she is really coming with it with this photo. And I think this photo probably works to um, Kotokumi's strength, which is, you know, sex appeal. I think that's, that is her strength, you know, when it comes to her look. And I also like that, you know, she's giving us like the, you know, the decolletage, you know, the shoulder and the bare back for the most part. 
All right, so let me give you my rankings. You know, let me tell you how I rank these photos. I rank the CD Plus DVD Fan Club Edition as the best photo. I think that this photo works the Kotokumi strain. And as well, I think that she has great body position in this photo. And good sex appeal in the photo as well. You know, and she has found the light with her face. So overall, I believe that this is the best album cover. The second best photo slash album cover is the CD plus DVD and CD plus Blu-ray edition of the album cover. You know, I like Kotokumi's face and hair in the photo, although her neck looks a bit thick. Um, I like the bare shoulder. Well, just about bare. <clears throat> um, but I think something's missing, and I think what's missing is maybe the sex appeal that I'm used to seeing with Kotokumi. But it's a different look for Kotokumi, so perhaps I can just let it slide. Alright, and the third best photo is DC only version of the photo. And I will say that this is probably the most artistic and the most daring of the photos. Um, however, um, I think that this photo probably just is lacking when it comes to the face, you know. <clears throat> I think that the face, while it is diff difficult to give good face in a profile, um, again, I just don't think that it worked as well here. Um, but overall, very interesting album covers here. And very interesting. But what do you guys think? Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Until the next photo analysis, adios and goodbye for now.